Bibs aren't just for babies. There are many reasons to have them on hand and available in all sizes. For me, it's to prevent spillage when I lay down to read a book and I'm snacking at the same time. Hi, I'm Allie, the literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I normally create projects inspired by the books I read. But today, I wanna to show you a really easy method to make bibs that are perfect to keep on hand at all times. So, let's normalize bib usage for everyone, everywhere. I'll be making an adult size version for myself, but this technique can be used for any size that you need. If the person you're making one for is available, grab your most reliable tape measure. Measure the base of the neck, then add one and a half inches to the total length. If they aren't, I will link a chart in the comments for standard sizes. And now we math. Calculate the radius of the circle with a circumference for your length. That's radius equals circumference divided by two pi. Using a pencil on a string and a piece of paper, mark your radius distance from the corner on each side. Holding the string at the corner with the pencil upright, draw a curve between the two lines. Cut this wedge out to create a pattern for the neck opening. Fold your lining fabric in half, then fold the top over the length of the radius plus two to four inches, depending on the size of the bib you're making. This creates a double fold. Place the pattern piece on the corner and cut out. Cut on the fold at the top of the middle of the newly cut neckline. Repeat for the main fabric. Right sides together, line up and clip the front and back together. Sew the middle sides and around the neckline, then clip your corners and curves. Now you can sew the top and both sides. Reach in through the bottom and turn right sides out. On the bottom, tuck in the raw edges one half inch and clip together. Sew the bottom closed, then top stitch around the entire bib. Using Velcro, measure the distance between the top stitch on the short ends at the back of the neck. Sew one part of the Velcro to the top of the tab and the other part to the bottom of the opposite tab. Pro tip, you can use cam snaps instead of Velcro. Okay, let's discuss. What uses do you have for bibs? Just let me know down in the comments. Bibs for everyone. All right, if you think this looks pretty easy and it's practical for you to keep on hand and make them whenever you need to, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or need any additional assistance, please let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you along the way. And while you're here, why not pop on over here and check out some more sewing tutorials. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness. Be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time there's a new video uploaded. I'll see you next time.